So Kanye West is finally getting his revenge on the Kardashians and it looks like he is trying his best to destroy the family. Rumor has it that he got them kicked out of the Met Gala and Kylie Jenner is furious at him and lashed out at him for being so petty. But did Kanye really get them kicked off and why does this upset Kylie so much? It has been two years since Kim Kardashian filed for divorce from Kanye West in 2021 and even though things seem to be quite cordial between them these days, they're not back to being besties because there is some low-key petty drama going on. Now to be fair to Kim, she did try her best to make their marriage work, but her best just wasn't good enough. When she eventually filed for divorce, Kanye did not take it well. He begged for her to give him a second chance so they could reconcile and give the relationship another shot, but then Kim had already moved on. Following their split, the dynamic between them became very tumultuous. On one hand, Kanye did thoughtful things like helping Kim retrieve her tape from Ray J. And met up with Ray J at the airport and got it all back for me. Oh, Kim. Oh my God. That's amazing. But then on the other hand, he publicly attacked her for various reasons. He accused her of being a bad mother to their four children, refusing to allow him to make decisions about their kids' schooling, letting North use TikTok without his permission, criticizing her for dating Pete Davidson and a whole bunch of other stuff. But what made things especially weird was that in between dragging her and exposing their drama online, he still wouldn't stop begging her to come back to him. Like the time he sent her a truck of roses for Valentine's Day, or the time he asked her to come running back to him at the Free Larry Hoover benefit concert. Yes, it's been a very chaotic and messy period, but eventually they were able to resolve their issues. Well, at least on the surface. Their divorce was finalized without any drama a few months ago, and Kanye agreed to paying Kim $200,000 per month in child support for their children, and Kim receiving full ownership of their mansion. Now, Kanye has been silent for the past couple of months because he has kind of turned over a new leaf. He recently tied the knot in a private ceremony with Yeezy architect named Bianca Sensory. He appears to have chilled out a lot because he is no longer attacking Kim like he did last year and he has been on his best behavior. Now, while he is not attacking Kim publicly, he is still coming for her behind the scenes and he knows where to make it hurt her. It seems that he hasn't completely let go of the drama as there are rumors that he might have played a role in Kim's recent snub from the Met Gala guest list. Despite not dragging Kim publicly, it's been speculated that Kanye plotted against her and even went after her entire Kardashian family because, according to Page Six, none of the Kardashians were invited to the event as Anna Winter is cracking down on the guest list as an annual fashion fete and that no Kardashians will make the cut. The Kardashians, especially Kim, are known to be obsessed with the Met Gala. Kim in particular is so devoted to the event that she reportedly starved herself for three weeks to fit into the Marilyn Monroe dress for just 10 minutes. So it's undoubtedly a major blow to learn that she won't be invited this year. Although Kim and her sisters may have become some of the most fashionable celebrities in recent years, it's wildly acknowledged that this is largely thanks to Kanye's influence. He not only styled Kim himself, but also connected her with top designers and stylists who may have otherwise overlooked her. When they first started dating, he even helped her clear out her entire closet because it just wasn't trendy enough. It's so bad to keep things. Yeah, you gotta let him ready to clean out everything. He's a fashion designer and he loves clothes, so I'm excited to like collaborate with him to see what his take on fashion is. Okay, there's a little bit of slang today. Like I know he's a little bit. Yeah, that was a lie. I know. 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 I know.
Kim was also the first Kardashian to attend the Met Gala, but not because she was invited. Kanye took her to the 2013 Met Gala as his date, and she was so out of place at the event that she stuck out like a sore thumb. She addressed her awkwardness in a 2019 tweet where she said, I was Kanye's plus one and so nervous. I didn't know anyone and I'm sure no one wanted me there. <laughs> I did my own lipstick and the color was so off. I went home and cried after insecurity, but this is one of my fave looks now. Following their divorce, Kanye stopped styling Kim due to their strained relationship. But despite this setback, Kim's fashion game remained strong and she continued to learn from the lessons that Kanye taught her. She also had a team of stylists to support her, but she still felt insecure without Kanye's input. Now, after the split from Kanye, the Kardashians kind of started losing their relevance bit by bit. Of course, it was nothing sudden, but over the years, they have become a little less important, especially in the fashion scene. However, their influence was still strong enough to get them invited to the Met Gala twice, but unfortunately for them, they did not exactly bring their A-game, especially at the 2022 Met Gala. Kim caused a lot of drama and controversy with her dress choice for the 2022. 22 event. She opted to wear the iconic dress that Marilyn Monroe wore in 1962 when she sung Happy Birthday to President Kennedy, which is wildly regarded as one of the most iconic fashion pieces in history. Kim received a lot of backlash for wearing the dress, which was seen by some as inappropriate. She didn't do herself any favors by revealing that she went on an extreme diet to lose 16 pounds in just three weeks, even though she had a duplicate of the dress to wear. This admission only fueled the criticism she faced and she was slammed for promoting unhealthy weight loss methods. Tell everyone because see I know the process it took to get in this. This is Marilyn Monroe's dress and um, it's 60 years old. I tried it on and it didn't fit me and so I looked at them and I said give me like three weeks and I, I had to lose 16 pounds down today to, to be able to fit this. The backlash against Kim got even worse when the before and after pictures revealed that the dress had been damaged. This was ironic because the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute aims to preserve iconic pieces of the fashion history, such as the Marilyn Monroe dress that Kim ruined. Kim wasn't the only Kardashian to receive negative attention at the Met Gala that year. Courtney admitted that she hadn't put much thought into her outfit and this got her dragged because it was her first Met Gala and she should have put some intention behind her outfit. Courtney, when you heard that the theme was gilded glamour, like what did that mean to you? I honestly didn't really think about it. <laughs> 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 Another Kardashian that clowned online is Kylie Jenner. Now, Kylie usually serves major looks at the Met Gala, but for some reason, her look at last year's Met Gala was just weird, to put it nicely. She wore a wedding dress by Off-White as well as a matching baseball hat veil thingy that just made the entire outfit even more confusing. She did claim that she wore the dress as a way for her to honor Off-White founder Virgil Abloh, who had passed away of cancer. While this did seem nice and thoughtful, it just did nothing to appease the public, and a lot of people felt like she had actually embarrassed Virgil by wearing that outfit because it just didn't look good or Met Gala worthy. There were definitely so many better options that she could have chosen from, but for some reason, she chose that look. Well, Anna Winter was very much over the Kardashians and their shenanigans that when she had to cut down the guest list, they were one of the first names to get axed. As expected, Kim was furious over this and she is reportedly reaching out to her contacts and pulling in favors in an effort to get back on the Met Gala guest list. However, the wild part about this drama is that Kanye West may have known about the Kardashian family being excluded from the event and chose not to intervene. Sources suggest that Kanye no longer considers Kim his responsibility and despite being on friendly terms with Anna Winter, he did not try to help her or her sisters get back on the guest list. He apparently feels that if Kim and her sisters are not invited due to his departure from the family, it's not his problem to solve. But Kim is not the only sister who is furious about this because Kylie is also mad at Kanye for leaving them hanging. She thinks that it was selfish and inconsiderate of him, especially since he knows how much the Met Gala means to them. And all it would have taken was one phone call from him to get them back on the list, but he could not be bothered to do that. Interestingly, a source claimed that Kylie had big plans for this year's Met Gala because she wanted this 
to be her comeback year after she got dragged for her look last year. She had plans of stealing the show and having all eyes on her, thus earning the respect back of her fans. But now that she isn't getting invited, well, she can kiss her plans goodbye. Now, if Kylie was still dating her baby daddy, Travis Scott, she might have managed to tag along with him as his plus one, just as Kim did in the 2013 Met Gala with Kanye. But she and Travis broke up earlier this year, so it's highly unlikely that he could take her as his date because it would send off rumors that they had gotten back together. But knowing Kylie, we wouldn't put it past her to be desperate enough to risk the rumors. People have comments saying, they never belonged there in the first place. Anna is not allowing the Met Gala to be dragged down. When will they realize their A-list relevance was connected to Kanye, like it or not? Are we finally in the era of this family's downfall after a decade or more of their nonsense? And Kanye opened up so many doors for that family. They loved him until they thought they didn't need him anymore. Now, there's some people who just aren't necessarily upset about the Kardashians getting disinvited. And even more people are crossing their fingers that Kanye Kanye and his new wife Bianca attend the Met. That's going to cause a major uproar for sure. But while we wait for the Met Gala drama, y'all have to check out this next video.